<laughs> Got any milk? Not anymore. <laughs> Everything is going just as I planned. Soon the entire world will be without dairy milk. <laughs> No butter on toast, no ice cream, no cheddar cheese, and nothing but dry cereal. Nothing can stop me now. <laughs> Somewhere over the Mediterranean Sea. Would you like our Italian entree, sir? No, thanks. It gives me hives. Our vegetarian dinner, then? No. Gives me the vapors. Then, may I recommend the Greek plate? It's delicious. All right, if you insist. Enjoy. It's good to see you, Agent Fox. Ah, Monkey Penny. Now this is a real TV dinner. Right. Yesterday, our spy operatives discovered the factories and offices of Amalgamated Mew Juice Incorporated abandoned and drained of milk. Soon, the entire world's remaining milk reserves will be depleted. The idea of eating dry breakfast cereal is pretty hard to swallow. Yes, it is. Here's the only clue we have. Feta cheese. A low grade, too. Spy operatives took that picture in the office of Mr. Howard Hugh Heffer Udley III. President and CEO of Amalgamated Moo Juice Incorporated. Exactly. We presume he has valuable information on the dairy crisis. The only available picture of him is hidden in your mashed potatoes. Finding Udderly is your top priority. He shouldn't be hard to spot. The feta cheese samples found in Udderly's office have been traced back to the island of Acidophilus. Your plane will be flying over the island any minute now. I've already set up the mobile command center where you will rendezvous with me and later on with Quack. The entrance code is in your fortune cookie. Any questions? No. I'm on my way. Good. Monkey Penny out. I wish I hadn't left my parachute in my other tuxedo. Maybe one of my special spy gadgets will help me. I wonder which one I should pick. A bit weighty for me. I don't think I can have my cake and eat it too. Pardon me, that airline food will get you every time. That's certainly not the kind of entrance a super spy like myself normally makes. Hmm, so this is the sleepy little Greek island of Acidophilus. I seem to have arrived unfashionably early, as nothing seems to be open. I should meet up with Monkey Penny at the mobile command center. Please, stand by. Spy Fox, where are you? I'm waiting for you at the mobile command center. Of course you are. I was just doing a little sightseeing, that's all. There'll be time for that later. Now use that phone number and get down here. This is serious. Five 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 two two nine zero. How fortunate that Monkey Penny gave me this entrance code. Hello, Spycore Mobile Command Center. Penny, I've got your number.
Now that's a person-to-person -person phone call. Glad you could drop in, Spy Fox. Hello, Monkey. That's Monkey Penny. So, what do you think of Spy Corps' new Greek Island Mobile Command Center? Impressive. Disguising it as a half-buried boat in the middle of the town square was a stroke of genius. Nobody would ever notice that. That was Professor Quack's idea. Where is Quack? Oh, he'll be here soon to refill the spy gadget dispensing machine. In the meantime, he sent a couple of things ahead for your mission. Good, because a spy without a gadget is like a shopping trolley without a broken wheel. How apt. Now, pay attention. This is Greek money. It's called drachmas. You may need to buy a few things around here on the island. And this is a... A toothbrush. And I could certainly do with one after that airplane meal. Don't put that in your mouth. It's not a normal toothbrush. It's a special laser toothbrush. Let me show you how it works. You hold the laser toothbrush, apply the minty fresh laser gel, push the button, then you can use it to cut through really thick steel. Hmm, I suppose that's one way to fight cavities. So, do we have any idea where Mr. Udderley is being held? No solid evidence yet, but you might want to check out that feta factory down by the docks. Feta factory, hey? I thought I smelled something suspicious. My spy watch is beeping. Spy Fox to Mobile Command Center. Please, stand by. Spy Fox here. Hello, Spy Fox. Remember, you can call me via your spy watch anytime for help and information. Just press the Mobile Command button. Will do. Spy Fox out. Oh, normally I would karate chop my way right through a door, but this one seems to be made of solid steel. The laser toothbrush makes impenetrable steel doors penetrable. Mm. Mm. Now that's a big side of beef. No buts about it. That's Mr. Udderley all right. And he's dangling over a pool of piranha. Now the question is, how am I going to get his rump roast down from there? Mm. Mm. Hmm. This must be the temperature control for this pool of piranhas. It's a very odd fixture for a feta cheese factory. The piranha pool seems to be getting colder. The little beasties seem to be slowing down. Hmm. Fish on ice. That should hold them. Now Ooh. for Mr. Udderley. Spy Fox. Routine rescue, really. Now I need to get you to our mobile command center for a debriefing. Good. I need to change my trousers. You've got to stop him, Mr. Fox. All right. Just calm down, Mr. Udderley. Why don't you start from the beginning and tell us what happened? It all started as a typical day at the office. When you're as important as I am, you're constantly fielding international cattle calls, reviewing grazing reports. 
Yes, you have to stay pretty sharp in the dairy business. So, when William the Kid's thug made their appearance, I immediately snapped into action. There were dozens of them. I fought them hoof and nail. Pow, 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 pow. My whole body is a weapon. Then, suddenly, I smelled something revolting. It could only be one thing. Feta cheese. The stink was so overwhelming that I nearly passed out. Taking advantage of my momentary asphyxiation, kidnappers jumped me, then forced me into a smelly dark bag. They whisked me away to Kid's secret island fortress. It was just so humiliating, being bagged up like a side of beef. But were you able to learn anything about what William the Kid is up to? Well, thanks to a little bovine ingenuity on my part, I was able to pick a few things up. Kid's demented scheme for gaining worldwide domination is run by a front company called... Nectar of the Goats Corporation. He has a five-part master plan. First, capture all the dairy cows in the world. As you know, he's already done that. Second, he built a milky weapon of destruction inside his secret fortress. Third, use the milky weapon of destruction to flood the capital with none too fresh dairy milk. Fourth, frame all the poor dairy cows for his heinous crime. Fifth, Take over the entire dairy world! Spy Fox, someone needs to find that secret fortress and disarm that milky weapon of destruction. Hmm, sounds challenging. I need to find that secret fortress and disarm that milky weapon of destruction. Oh, I almost forgot. When William the Kid's back was turned, I swiped the secret code that turns the milky weapon of destruction off. Good going. Where is it? Uh, well, I had to swallow the code before I could read it so it wouldn't be discovered. Can you believe it? I find the whole thing a little hard to swallow. We need to figure out a way to get a look at that code. Someone needs to find that secret fortress and stop William the Kid. X-ray gum. How does this work, Professor Quack? Ah, that's my new and improved beef-flavored X-ray gum. I'll explain how it works. You take a stick out, put it up against something beefy, move it around, and then you can see the yucky stuff inside. The best part of all is, when you're done, you can chew the gum. It actually has a very refreshing, beefy flavor. You know, four out of five dentists prefer x-ray gum for their patients who need x-rays. A duck needs his fiber. That's the x-ray gum. Now, if you don't mind, Mr. Udderly, I'm going to need to use this x-ray gum to take a look at those four stomachs of yours. This isn't going to hurt, is it? Because I get sort of dizzy when I think about pain. In fact, just saying the word pain makes me want to... Professor Quack, your x-ray gum works perfectly. I can see everything inside Mr. Udderly's gut. His ticker looks like it needs winding. I found 
the note. I'll be able to disarm that milky weapon of destruction with that punch card. I just need to find it, then figure out where to place it. It looks like he's got a spanner in the works. Look at this pen. He must have been trying to write a letter from his heart. If only I could read the note he swallowed. His ticker looks like it needs winding. Without that punch card, I won't be able to disarm the milky weapon of destruction. It says trinkets. Welcome to the Trinket Emporium. My name is Gilbert. How may I be of service to you? Oh, honorable visitor to this our dear island home. I'm not sure yet. I was just noticing your fine selection of trinkets. Sir, I think that you will find we offer much more than mere trinkets. We pride ourselves in having the island's finest selection of rare and hard-to-find collector items and antiquities. Excellent. One never knows when one will be struck with an unquenchable desire to indulge in a blatant act of bourgeois consumerism. Our thoughts exactly, sir. So, Captain, do you think you could take me out for a little boat ride? I'd love to, but there's just one problem. I can't go anywhere without my lucky charm. Your lucky charm? Aye, matey. <coughs> because that there is the sea, the final frontier. And on my voyages in the SS Winterprise on a 25-year mission to seek out new sea life and new civilizations. I boldly went where no raccoon has gone before. But without my lucky charm, it would be way too risky. I can't chance it. I can gather information about Captain Drydock and his lucky charm with this. 